Health headlines now. We can all see the pressure Olympic athletes face, and one expert says what you think or don't think, it can make all the difference. Melanie Woodrow tells us the skills competitive athletes use to help them perform their very best. I've been doing gymnastics since I was four. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, especially learning new skills. 12-year-old Owen Sipes' fun turned to frustration after a difficult meet. I did okay on the first event, and then on high bar I fell four times, all in easy skills, and I was so upset, I just lost it. Sipes decided to see Douglas Finney, a licensed clinical social worker and mental game coach. There's an old saying that practice is 90% physical, 10% mental. Competition is 90% mental. 10% physical. Finney helped Sipes change some of his thoughts. It's when you're saying something like, I have to do well, you are putting stress on yourself. I mean, you can just change it and say, it's my goal to do well. And those types of words do not put the same stress on you. Sipes said breathing techniques and a mantra helped him the most. Uh, I believe I can achieve. I just look in the mirror and I say it 20 times every single day. Even if you're not a competitive gymnast or an athlete, Douglas Finney says her tips are applicable to anyone in any area of their life. Well, I see a lot of students, they come in with test anxiety or if you're going for a job interview. Finney's combination for success? Always focus on what you want to detach yourself from the outcome. You make a intention, you set action steps, and that's all you can do. You're in control of that. You're not in control of the outcome. Owen oh, Sipes' intention is the 2020 Olympics. First year I'm able to go, I'm making it <laughs> up top. <laughs> that was Melanie Woodrow reporting. Another tip, if you visualize yourself nailing the interview or doing the perfect golf swing, it's more likely that you will.